Hey. I will take back what I have loaned. You allowed that to rise again. You cannot be trusted with Dane Nomos. Do you know what that thing is? The legacy of the Ancients. A giant Blastia that could save the world from impending doom. But you have allowed it to fall into hands that would use it for ill purposes. All things must be returned to their proper places. Begin by returning that sword to me. Wait. If this should be returned to its proper place, wouldn't that mean giving it to Estelle? Nothing would be more fruitless than giving it to one who cannot use it properly. For us, Dane Nomos was never anything more than proof of Imperial lineage. So perhaps you are better suited to wield it. Hmm. So if you don't mind, could you let me keep it a little longer? We're going to stop Alexei ourselves, and we need this to do it. Very well. However, if you should waver before the task you face, I will come again to claim the sword. Okay, let's go.
You picked the wrong people to fight with.
So, why are we here again? Don't we have other stuff to do? Well, we've come this far. It wouldn't hurt to just go and say hello to Pharaoh. I'm hoping he won't be around. What's this? It's like a hole just opened up in the sky. Oh, that. It is a phantom rift. Pharaoh made it. What the hell is a phantom rift? Jormgen, the town where we met Duke, was an illusion that Pharaoh made. There wasn't anything left but ruins that second time we went there. It kind of makes sense if what we saw in Jormgen was from the same time as the ghost ship. Besides Duke, that is. Yeah, that's probably what happened. And you say Pharaoh made this thing? Yes. It seems like Pharaoh's not around here anywhere. He's not responding to my calls either. Hey! What's going on here? No! Whoa! That stupid kid! Let's go! Carol, are you okay? Uh, I'm okay. That was crazy. This is... Jormgen. Or the illusion of it that Pharaoh made. There's no one around. Could Pharaoh be here? Perhaps. Let's have a look around! What brings you here? We're just travelers passing through. I'm sorry, but there is no longer an inn or any shops in this town. Are you here alone? Yes, it's just me. You wouldn't happen to be the sage, would you? The humans of this town once called me that. Huh? But didn't the sage die? Shh. This is an illusion Pharaoh made, right? So that would mean this is actually the Jormgen of a thousand years ago. Yeah, I wonder if the lack of a barrier Blastia is the reason everyone else took off. How perceptive. Blastia cannot easily be acquired, nor do we have the clear Ciel crystal. The children of the full moon should never have signed the pact with the Intelikea. Pact? They agreed to bury most of the Blastia, with the children standing watch over the rest in order to protect against the Atafagos. So then, the ancient civilization didn't collapse. It was sealed up. Well, I thought you were perceptive, but now I see you actually know nothing. W what Supervising the use of Blastia? Doesn't that remind you of the Empire today? Well, Estelle is a child of the full moon, not to mention one of the heirs to the throne. Wait! So then the children of the full moon must have founded the Empire. Please, there is no need to speak in hushed tones. The pact will surely be forsaken. Unless, that is, all Blastia can be done away with for good. But people couldn't live like they do now without Blastia. A certain type of life can be led, even without Blastia. Yeah, the inconvenient type. So it has always been. They come to depend on anything that eases the burdens of life. Yet even knowing that, you help the people of this town to build a barrier, Blastia? I too was poisoned by the desire for greater things. I couldn't ignore the convenience. Now what kind of a sage does that? To be a sage means only to be rich in knowledge. I too belong to the society of people. Being a saint isn't a prerequisite for leadership, then, huh? Well put. And the children of the full moon are no different. The role of supervisor will turn into one of absolute authority before long. What does that mean? 
It's pretty clear if you look at what the Empire's become. Anyway, nothing remains in this village. Not even Blastia. You are welcome to stay the night, if you don't mind the ramblings of an old man. Thanks. I can't believe he kept us up all night telling those stories. Well, I was fascinated by his epic tale of the girl who fought with a frying pan and a ladle. Estelle, it sounds like you want to hear even more stories. Yeah, well you can count me out. Anyway, this is quite impressive for something that's just an illusion. It's so weird. It's an illusion, but we can talk with people and everything feels so real. Perhaps it's because these things really did exist at one point in the past. Humans could never give up Blastia completely, which has brought us to where we are today. The Empire was only meant to monitor the Blastia, but they started digging them up and studying them. The Antelakea despise the Blastia, but humans just can't let them go.
<laughs> Greetings, Elder. What were you grumbling about? Oh, you've returned. Look what I found when I was cleaning my dresser. You had a sword in your dresser? Hey, but this is... This isn't just any old sword. It looks like... you know... Yeah. No kidding. Not so much the shape, but the vibe it's given off. Just what kind of sword is this? I was hoping you would ask. If memory serves, it is one of the seven fell arms of legend. You mean the weapon spawned by the 14-headed monster from the fairy tales? Hmm. I don't know how the story is told below, but here the legend is as follows. At the height of the ancient Blastia civilization, an attempt was made to produce special weapons. Eventually, this led to the creation of armaments of untold power. Seven in total. So these weapons are a legacy of the ancients. Well, De Nomos is real. Maybe this story is too. Is De Nomos one of these fell arms then? I'd say it's possible if what the Elder said is true. But if this really is one of the fell arms, why was it in your dresser, Elder? I can't remember for the life of me. It's been decades since I've cleaned this thing out. You haven't cleaned out your dresser in decades? I don't know what to say. If these weapons are really as powerful as they sound, it might be a good idea for us to get a hold of them before they fall into the wrong hands. Yeah, there have been quite a few sets of wrong hands out there lately, too. Might we take us with us, Elder? Huh? Oh, fine by me. You're giving it to us just like that? To tell the truth, I'm glad it turned up. But I've been wondering what I'd do with it. I've got no real use for it. Besides, it would be a shame to just leave something like this lying around. I figure you are just the ones to put it to proper use. Do you know anything about the other fell arms? Let me see here. According to the legend, the seven weapons share a common bond. If this is truly one of the fell arms, it may react if brought near the others. But De Nomos hasn't reacted at all. Hmm. Then perhaps it isn't a fell arm after all. Then how are we supposed to find them? Well, there's no point thinking it to death. So long as we have one of them, the bad guys won't be able to get them all, right? Maybe that's good enough. I agree. All right then, Elder. We'll take it off your hands. Thanks. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 